Hey, what's going on? Happy Wednesday. It is your day for your reading. My Virgo Libras, that's right. Welcome to the channel. Come on in, put your feet up, relax. Let's get into your reading here, okay? I'm going to shuffle these up a little bit here. Noobs, you're brand new to this channel. Hit that like button, subscribe, become part of the Divine Family. Speaking of them, those are my lowest subscribers. Thank you for your likes, your shares, your subscribes, and your comments. You guys are magnifique. Right? I guess that's French for marvelous, wonderful, something like that. Okay. So, a little rainy today. I had to take my dogs out, throw in a sweatshirt. It's like, what? Summer's already over? Sweatshirt weather? Nice. I love the fall season. It's perfect. All right, so let's see what's going on in your energy today. And we'll get right to your reading. Noobs, I don't do reversals, nor I call signs. I have called signs, but I try not to because we're doing your read. Okay. I'm a good linebacker to block the other energies from coming in so I can solely focus and channel the message for you. Okay, so let's go. Let's see what's on your dinner plate today breakfast plate whatever time frame you're in in the zone that you live in <laughs> okay do it one more time let's get cracking the cracking Here's your first card. Ooh, King of Cups. Loving yourself. In love with someone. Mmm. Have much love to give. Maybe this is definitely self-worth. Let's find out what that next card's going to be. Six of Swords. Mmm. Could be uh, getting in your boat and moving. So a legit physical move, or it could be that you're, you know, uh, smooth sailing towards something. So, coffee hiccups. The roles could be reversed and the energies could be switched. Take it how it fits, because if it fits, it's going to ship. You know what I'm saying? Ship. Let's go. Here comes your first card of your story. Ooh, five of swords. Yeah. It's kind of like I'm seeing here that hmm. you're guarded. <laughs> Changed your mind. Because fives do represent change. Swords is your mind. Six of swords. Persevering in your mind. Because sixes represent perseverance. Tarot definition is a smooth course ahead. Loving, giving, nurturing. Not only to uh, give, but what you have for yourself. So this is very interesting, but confusing at the same time. So let's pull a couple more cards here and see how this is going to roll out. Roll out. Mm -mm -mm. Changing your mind about a higher level commitment. Yep, hierophant. <sighs> Wowzers. Three of cups. Are you celebrating this idea? <laughs> oh, boy. It's like you're saying, I have love to give. I want to go towards love. But I'm going to walk away from an high, a higher level commitment. Maybe because you have an intuitional feeling that there is a third party involved. That's all I'm going to say. Interference, collaborations, 
Let's keep going. King of Wands. Holy crap. Okay, so you feel that the King of Wands person, fire sign energy, has somebody else. That's why you're guarded. That's why you're defensive. That's why you're going to be walking away from a higher level commitment. And getting in your boat and chugging on. All right, let's keep going. Hey, so the energies can be switched. Roles can be reversed. Like I said, fit it how it ships it. Ace of Pentacles, right? Yep. Wow, this is almost like mirroring the last reading I did. Interesting. Okay, so there's a new path for you coming up. A new opportunity, right? A yellow brick road opportunity. An abundant stability, right? Finances, career, something like that. But it's a brand new chance because you are definitely, see, Six of Swords. Six of Swords going towards this pathway. Over here, you're defensive about this because this King of Wands person has, uh, yeah. Third party interference. Freedom. Whoa. Okay. <laughs> so, isn't that interesting? <clears throat> it almost looks like you have you're 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 moving away from a king of wands person, but the, your opportunity in this new pathway is with a queen of wands. A little sassy, a little dark, creative, right? On fire, very passionate kind of person. Let's keep going. I'm going to clarify that Queen of Wands. Hermit. So. for the Queen of Wands. Justice. Interesting. So here, what I see is that there's a brand new opportunity coming in for you for abundance with a Queen of Pentacles. This is your justice. And so you don't really have to analyze this person. You're just shining the light towards your path, okay? That's what I, I'm getting from that hermit. Because if the hermit was facing the Queen of Wands, then that would be you analyzing this person, studying this person, trying to figure it out. But you will have justice in this new beginning smoothly because that's the way you're going to go. That's your justice. So you're losing a king, but you're gaining a queen. And now... It's like she's shining the light on the pathway, right? Not on the person, you or them. Okay, hope that makes some kind of sense. <laughs> Sometimes these can be a little jumbled up, but hey, it's just what it is. It's a tie between the information on the card, the definition, and your intuition, all combined. So look at your treasure chest, boom. Right, so the light is being shined on this pathway because like I told you, Ace, Ace of Pentacles. It's gonna be very stable, very abundant. Yobic Road. And it's with this queen of wands, sassy pants. Ooh, she's this person fired up. But your justice is to have this person, have this new path. And your light is now being shined down on the abundance family. Ten of Pentacles. It's beautiful. 
You're analyzing the future. You're seeing the abundance in this. Okay, nice. I don't know who this king of sword, king of wands is, but you're definitely guarded and defensive about this official kind of higher level commandment because they're definitely, they got options. They're, they got third party situation going on. There you go. There's your four of cups. Okay, so it's not that you're going to be sad and disappointed, right? It's going to be more of like, it's going to stabilize you emotionally, okay? Because this is kind of emotional. And so now that once this is gone, your justice is to have somebody come back in place. This is how karma works, right? You lose something, you gain something. You gain something, you lose something. So now with the four of cups, that's your stability. And it cups is your emotions. So this... Analyzing this will definitely stabilize your emotions. To what? To have the strength and courage. How do you like that? Nice. Hello. That's like 17. Take that one. Okay, so you have the Seven of Cups. Mmm... -mm -mm. I need like a tray here, so if my cards fall, they just fall here, not on the floor. I'm not taking that, it's too many. Okay, so we have the Seven of Cups. Okay. So even though this is going to stabilize your emotions, give you the strength and courage, um, I think... There's going to be several options in building your stability with this person. It's not that you have mixed emotions. It's not that, you know, they have options or whatever. I think because it's underneath this Ace of Pentacles, you're going to have options in the abundance that's going to be coming along this pathway with this person. Okay? A lot of opportunities coming. And it's going to be very fruitful. So, this could be nice. Sounds very nice. So let's keep going. Queen of Cups in love. Yeah, you're going to fall in love with this person. Right? That's the story, my friends. Let's get to the outcome. Mmm. Five of Cups. So... Frustration, bitterness, changing your emotions. I don't know what's going on with that. I'm going to get the next card. Changes your emotions to being completely happy. Okay. So you go from wonderment maybe a little bit of confusion about how this came about because you're still dealing with this person because there are two definite people here. You don't know this person, but you do know this person. Okay? This person has other things going on. Okay? That's why you're just like, no, no, thank you. You have a new path. This is your justice to go with somebody that, you know, you don't have to study, you don't have to analyze because they're presenting themselves in their true selves. And now it's going to be a very stable and abundant kind of pathway for you with this person. This is going to stabilize your emotions to give you the strength to, you know, see the options in love with this person. Okay? That changes your emotions because fives represent change, cups is your emotions. Change your emotions to be completely happy. That's the sun card. That is the best card in the deck. I'm going to leave it there, my friends. It has been your reading with one clarifier. How do you like that? Thanks for your time. Thanks for clicking this video. Tell your friends, tell your neighbors all about the channel. Hit that like button and subscribe if you have not done already. Appreciate your time. Definitely, my friends, enjoy the schedule that we got going on. And I'll see you next week.